Hello, Buzzcocks. My name is Hatsusi, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And we are almost there with our rocket. We do have uh, all the pipe in insulation. I would like to have a bit more so we could have a, a second tank up here. Uh, but maybe one uh, liquid oxygen tank would be sufficient to uh, transition to this new setup. We need a bit more uh, coolant uh, in here. So let's add this. And then also have a look what we get out of here. Um, we'll take the two eggs and crack them open because we do have enough pips and i also added yeah down here i hooked up uh, the last liquid pump that goes out this way and up into this body of water because the the water was getting a bit warm and uh, that had the effect that uh, the cooling that we got here was not optimal i think we got uh, air and water back that was in the mid 30s than just uh, the 30s and i'm hoping we can still lower the temperature here so we actually get temperatures below 30. And as mentioned in the last episode, we have one more um, animal that we want to uh, to ranch, but we have to fetch it from, from outer space. That's why uh, we need this, this rocket. But uh, I think we will put that off for one episode because there is kind of uh, another creature that we can uh, farm. Um, it's the uh, it's the biobot, and for that we need uh, to plant a few spore blossoms, and then we also need to. Um, uh, pipe in some how does this work we figured that out last time um, so let's see what we have here um, we need to pump Oh, yeah, I think now I remember. We need a pump. We'll have the pump here. The pump. Goes there. And then we need, as our gas pressure, it's not that high. Um, then we have the output here and we have three planter boxes here and in here we have uh, one spore blossom so we need two more and I think we will achieve that down here we have some more uh, but what we will do is Let's have a ladder down here. Deconstruct this and then basically have uh, another water lock here so we can separate um, the uh, 
the spores that are on one side uh, from spores that we might get on the other side. Um, we also need uh, power. Let's pull that through here. Um, that was copper, and then we have to figure out. Yeah, we can we can hook this up to that power line uh, without overloading. Um, let's do the last pieces in gold. And that should at least keep the duplicants uh, busy for a while. And uh, uh, once we have made some progress down here, we can actually see uh, about what this is all about. Down here, there is still a lot of work to be done. And uh, up here, I noticed we have a low volume of uh, polluted water and that's because these machines usually do not run because we have so much power stored from, uh, from solar. So I thought maybe it's time to build a bit of a recreational area for our duplicants. Um, we will have that down here and then we can basically extend this ladder to down here dig all this out have a door on either end and then some air cards here and there and we will deal with the interior shortly uh, but here on top we have the rocket it is reconfigured we have uh, another uh, liquid tank here and in order to get out to our uh, second tier of asteroids where we have been going for a while now we need uh, 800 42 kilograms of petroleum and the same amount of liquid oxygen. In here we have pumped in a bit of, uh, of uh, super coolant and it is sufficiently cooled down. So what we still need to do here is uh, we need to connect This pipe was this one that will pump in gas here. We do have a bit of uh, a hydrogen gas here, but that should not be a problem because the temperature in here will only be low enough for uh, the oxygen to liquidize, and there we already have it. And we will just have a bit of uh, hydrogen sitting here on top so that should not really be an issue and if we would have uh, oxygen in here that would mean because hydrogen needs to be cooled further down than uh, than oxygen um, the oxygen would freeze and then sit here at the bottom and with that we are also uh, need active cooling here uh, which then uh, triggers the steam turbines but because we have this uh, diamond tile going up here we can actually benefit from the cool temperatures that we have down here 
electrons through that up here to the to the hydrogen gas which is at minus 40 degree at the moment and we will need uh, to wait a bit uh, to, to uh, accumulate a bit of uh, liquid oxygen um, until we have enough probably 2000 kilo on on this level so that means two tiles high before we start pumping out and then can start the, the, the next one and while that is going we can also uh, hook up a pipe there so we can fill in um, uh, also this tank uh, with, uh, uh, with super coolant uh, so we can also start on uh, liquefying hydrogen. But let's check down here. Yes, we have cleaned this part out. So what we want here is a jukebox and an arcade and um, what do we what else do we need for um, for a recreational room creational buildings no industrial one decor item okay we can do that um, let's do that here um, we can also have uh, a water fountain and then probably lots of paintings let's have to this side then here we can have another sculpture a corner piece and then some decorative parts and power rise these two the the jukebox and the um, arcade they're quite power hungry so what we will do is we will hook those up as you can see on two separate lines that's why we have two transformers uh, down here and probably we need a bit more uh, of the refined metal uh, before we get anywhere with the power connection um, that we want to have there here on top we have switched to a hydrogen rocket although we are still collecting uh, hydrogen in order to fulfill the first rocket uh, on the oxygen side we do have quite the pool of it uh, in fact so much that we have to uh, uh, went excess oxygen here into space in order to not clog up the system down here which would then uh, prevent the uh, uh, electrolyzers to produce more and uh, no more hydrogen as well um, over here it's slightly getting warmer that's why uh, uh, we sometimes see a bit of uh, molten ice that we can mop up but I think down here we made quite a bit of progress we uh, dug out some uh, sporchit seeds so hopefully we can plant them 
in here. Nope. Um, uh, let's see, where do we plant those in? Farm plot. Okay. And let's deconstruct those and have farm plots instead. We can have those actually. So, and then we can plant them. Looks like I was wrong once again, and we need flower pots to actually plant them in. They are stored here in this cabinet, so I could seal off uh, uh, this shaft here, down here. Because if we look, we can see we have some spores in this area, not in here. And I want to keep that that way. And as soon as we have them planted up here, we will also get them up there. Which also means we can enable this gas pump. see the spores going and once the, the pump is going then the spores will be pumped into this chamber they will be cleaned and we get clean air out here and that should all work um, Also should enable the bio bottler. Not sure why it was disabled in the in the first place. incubating 55% so without the spores they go up to 50% because they need a steel steel we can provide we do have quite a bit on the side uh, but the, the spores gets that's another metal and we do have one more in here so we can have one more flower pot there to produce more spores and uh, speed the process um, up just a tiny bit. And we will have to wait and see until here the, the first biobot actually uh, gets finished. But once we have them, uh, they have a limited lifetime, but they move around quite fast. They uh, uh, can do some uh, menial work, uh, so that will um, leave our duplicates to do other things like a parting in here in the new recreation room as we just saw before they went to bed i also rearranged the, the schedules a bit so that they have now four slots of downtime which also helps with their morale 
and uh, uh, usually if you get to this point morale should not be uh, a real issue as long as you do not max out your duplicates uh, on the on the skill tree uh, which i usually don't because i just add the skills on various duplicates uh, as i need them and there we have it it's checked up and put into the stasis or in 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 the pot and uh, we are producing one more over here you can see sometimes we struggle a bit with uh, with the gas pressure that's why i'm taking here uh, measures uh, to basically reduce the gas pressure by reducing the the room size and that should increase the uh, the air pressure and our bot is is on the way somewhere already lost track of him but as we create more of them we should there there it is uh, moving stuff around storing them uh, this this boring tasks that just need to be done so next up is waiting for enough uh, uh, for enough uh, uh, hydrogen liquid hydrogen uh, and then Ooh, we have a problem here that could be bad because that means not all our bunker doors are powered so what we can do here is have a bit of uh, liquid on the floor do we have don't have any any cooling loop nearby um well we could also build them out of steel that would certainly help um, but yes that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, next time um not sure if this will be uh, in regular interval or a bit longer depends a bit on on how fast we can get this this liquid oxygen um, to get going to the next step until then goodbye